to start your scratch art lion, you're going to hold your paper vertically. That's like a door, not a television screen. So then you're going to find the center of your page and put a, well, two, two little half circles and make another smile shape just around it. Then color that in. You're scraping away all the black paint. Continue doing that until it's all filled, or all emptied, I should say. And then you might need to tap off some of the dust. Then you're going to make two vertical lines. Those vertical lines are going to go almost straight up, but just a little bit tilted in toward the center of your page. So it should be a little wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Okay, so then, and I'm going to make sure that those are nice and bold lines so that I can see them. Then I'm going to make two curved lines, kind of like a big frown, that connect to those vertical lines you just drew on either side. Try to make them symmetrical. Now we're going to make a circle, a circle, but it's going to touch that frown line that you made just a minute ago. Make it nice and big so your eyes will be big. And then I'm going to make another circle inside of that, but make it kind of big because you want the, the center of the eye to stay black and you want a big area there. And then I'm just going to color in, or I should say uncolor, <laughs> the eyes. I'm scraping that black paint away and then the beautiful color underneath is revealed. So scratch away on the eye, and now your eye is almost complete. I like to add a little dot of white to um, make it look like it's more alive, and that would be right at one o'clock, just a little dot. That's the reflection dot of the eyes. There you go. Next, I'm going to make the bottom of the eye, so that's a curve. It's a curved line, sort of in the shape of a smile, but it should touch the bottom of the eye circle. That would be the iris. And then I'm going to make just a little line coming down from the nose, and connected to that little line is a curve, like a smile, on each side, just like the bottom of your eye that curve and that makes the jowls of the lion. Next I'm going to make little polka dots right above that curved line. These are where the whiskers will be put a little bit later. Make sure that you color them so that they show up. There we go. I think that's enough. And then put some whiskers in, because all cats, even lions, have whiskers. Next, you're going to put a zigzag line, and that's going to be curve again as it zigs and zags. And I do several of them to make it look sort of furry. Now we're going to make some more zigzag lines sort of messy zigzag lines for the eyebrows above each eye and make them kind of arch and curve as you make your zigs and zags. Now I'm going to make some ears up in the corner and they have a slight point to them, not super pointy but just a slight. And then I'm going to put some hair in the ears, oh, I like to get those nice and thick lines. Okay, then a little bit of hair in the ears, sort of tufts of hair, back and forth, scratching so that the color shows. Now it's time to add the mane of the lion. This is a lot of straight lines and they, the lines should be pointing toward the center of the face of the lion. And this is where it gets challenging because think about how many lines or pieces of hair that you have 
um, on your head. Well, a lion has a huge mane, so you have to make hundreds of lines. And the more lines you make, the more color shows through. So really go wild on this and make sure that you've got hundreds and hundreds of lines and keep doing that until your mane looks full. This takes a lot of patience. You have to add a lot of lines and that adds the texture. Those lines are texture. Texture is something that you can see or feel and fur has a lot of lines to it. So keep going, fill it all in, and now you have your finished line, Lion. Do your best work, boys and girls, and have fun doing it.